Still on our algebraic expressions, let us consider question number six, right? Algebraic expression for, for the following. So these, uh, this whole part here, we just need to rewrite. It's so a verbal from what we're given there to a statement, mathematical statement. Okay, so they were given A, the sum of A and B, the sum. Sum, remember, is to add. So you're simply adding A and B. That's the sum of A and B, or B plus A, okay? Then the product of A and B product, that's you multiplying two terms, A and B. So that is A times B, the product. Or you can just save it as AB, product of A and B. All right, then we are given C three times the difference, okay? Three times, meaning to say we are going to multiply to the difference between P and Q, the difference between P and Q. So this is what it means. Three times the difference between P and Q, or you can even write as three into the bracket of P minus Q like that. Okay, so that is how you could have simplified this one. Three times means you're multiplying. So if it was two times, you multiply, or it can be double, it can be three times. If it is those, you multiply. Okay, then let's check D. The sum of two numbers. The sum of two numbers. Where the second number is double, the first number, okay, the sum of two numbers, let's say these are two numbers we do not know. So let's, the first, let's, let's say the first one is x, okay, because we do not know these numbers. So the other one can be x, the other one can be y like this. But they are saying the sum of these two numbers, but where the second number is double the first one. The second, let's say this is our second number, this one. This is our second. It is double this one. Double means what? It means this y that we are talking about is equal to two times x. Double, double this. Double the first one. This is our first one. This is our second one. So the second number is double the first number. And the first number is x. So meaning to say where there is this y here, I can write this as x because the second number is double the first one. So instead of me writing x plus y, y is double the first number. So it's 2x. So I'm going to add these are like terms, all right? 1x to 2x can be added. So 1 plus 2, that is going to give us 3x at the end, all right? So the number at the end, was going to be a 3x. So you see, guys, these word problems, these word uh, statements, you have to understand what you're given there. What does it mean? Uh, you can figure it out in no matter the way that you understand, that as long as you understand what you're doing. All right, this is question number seven. If a is equal to three, b is minus two, and c is equal to zero, find the value of a, B to the exponent of two on the first question. So A, we are given, so this is just going to be substitute. A, we are given as three. So that's three times B, our B, which is minus two, but everything is to be raised to the exponent of two. So you must raise everything to the exponent of a two. So that's it, guys. We can multiply three times negative two, three times minus two. What is three times minus two? That's minus six. Being raised to the exponent of a two. So remember that to the exponent means this is gonna multiply itself to that exponent, like the number of times. So it's simply negative six times negative six, minus six times minus six, a minus multiplied to a minus, it's a positive. Six times six, that's a positive 36. So this was going to give us a positive 36. All right, let's see the other part of our question, which is B, we are given A, B over C, the product of A, B over C. We have our A, A, B means A, just like what we had here. All right, the product of A, B, it was A, B. So whenever you see A, B, A, B like this, 
whenever you see this a b it means a times a times b so this is a times b what is our a three times b our b which is negative two over c everything is over what everything is over a zero which is our c this is going to give us three times negative two, which is negative six over a zero like this. By just having a zero in the denominator, we do know that this mathematically does not exist. That's a non-real number. This does not exist mathematically. There is no solution for this one. You cannot determine uh, this one. It's not exact. It's non-real. This one, it's a non uh, real value. It cannot be use a calculator. Minus six over zero. That math error does not exist mathematically. We're saying this does not exist. We do not have such in our mathematics. Okay. C a minus two b a minus two b. Our a we're just gonna substitute, which is three minus two times b. Just open a bracket for that, which is minus two. That's what we have. So we can expand the brackets here. That is minus two and a minus. That's bracket. This can be expanded. Remember, expanding brackets. That what is contact in contact with the bracket, which is the minus two. Minus two times minus two. That's a positive four. So three plus. It's now a plus. Three plus four, which is a seven. So at the end, this whole question or this whole part was going to give us a seven. All right. So this is how your algebraic expression sometimes might be given as just going to need to revise as much questions as you can. But for now, that's it. Till we meet again.